Hello? Hello? I need my hair done. So you're calling your hairstylist and she's not picking up. You want that silk press without the stress. You want affordable, you want luxurious, you want glam. You want to turn heads. So believe me when I say you're going to learn today. I'll teach you exactly how to slay this unit because you will be the center of attention and that you can trust. Let's get into this. So from the sensational wet lace collection we have Tarina and I did a little bit of an unboxing so you know exactly what to expect when you purchase your own because you want to get your hands on this. And this has the pre-plucked hairline, the HD lace. It's a little ashy so stay tuned for my quick fix and you get the 13 by 6 frontal action, the combs on the left and right sides, an additional comb at the nape and adjustable straps. You know the usual. Now when it comes to customization, I like to take my time. So I put Tarina on a canvas blockhead, which I'll have linked in the description box. This is a step that I highly recommend for beginners, especially with this particular unit, they give you a sufficient amount of baby hairs. So I'm just gonna section these away and just keep them to the side. But can you guys get into how well they pre-plucked this hairline? Great transitional density, but on the sides, I noticed it was a little bit more dense. So I'm just going in with my tweezers to, you know, just pluck a few hairs. Now, this is how it looks real time when I do this. I'm being very strategic and I'm kind of like moving about the hairline versus staying in one spot. So don't concentrate too heavily in one spot or, you know, it could give the appearance of like it balding, being too thin. And don't forget, after you're done tweezing, you wanna take a very fine tooth comb and you wanna draw it down the length of the hair to remove any excess shed hair. This is not to be confused with normal shedding hair from your wig. This is the hair that you've tweezed out. As a purely optional step, because I don't wanna overwhelm my beginners especially, I'm just going in to thin out the baby hairs. I feel like they have a good amount, but I just wanna thin it down just so it looks a bit more realistic. And towards the front of the unit, I'm holding the lace taut because I'm just gonna tweeze a little bit towards the front. And you guys can see when I change the direction or the orientation of the tweezers, this is when I just like to, again, go in and thin out the baby hairs, but I'm being very strategic and I'm not doing too much. So don't get too carried away. The unit is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just taking it a little step further. Oh, and I have to say that this color looks amazing. A very gorgeous color indeed. In an effort to set the hair, I'm gonna go in with the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. And I'm actually gonna douse this brush and I'm gonna use this to apply the product to the hair. Be very, very careful not to mess up the baby hairs, but I'm just doing this so that the hair rests away from my face. And I want that kind of flip over look, you know, the look that looks super effortless and just glamorous. And here I'm adding some double prong clips to help keep the hair in position as it dries down. And please be very modest about how much of the free spray you use. A little goes a long way and you definitely want to let it set or dry for about three to five minutes. Now you know we talked about how ashy that lace was, okay? I don't know who the lace was intended for but I had to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in 334 and 355. I'm going to combine these two and use a very fluffy brush to apply this to the lace you want to go deep into the lace at the base near the crown and you also want to bring it forward and around the ear tabs the press powder gives much more of a realistic looking lace tint you can use lace tint spray or you can use foundation but the goal is to make sure that you use some free spray to set this in place and when you're all finished it should look something like this now I treated this wig install like a human hair wig install, okay? So look at her, she's together. Look at how that lace looks against the skin. And look at the transitional density, okay? It is, I'm hype, like I'm excited about this. So once I get the hair out of my way, I'm gonna focus on making sure that the baby hairs are pulled away. I wanna keep them sectioned, but just make sure they're out of the way because I'm going to use very tiny shears to trim that lace. And I'm using jagged motions so as to create a more realistic trim along the lace edge so it doesn't look harsh or blunt. So I'm gonna pull the unit back and I'm going in with the Got To Be Glued, Glued Styling Spiking Gel. And I'm going to apply a very thin layer. I'm using the opposite end of my dual end brush. And this is a great way. It's like a little spatula that you can like apply the product exactly where you want it and be super precise. Now it's very important to have the gel dry down. So I'm taking my time with my blow dryer on the cool setting for about 30 to 45 seconds. 
And once I feel like it's tacky enough, I'm going to pull the lace and place it exactly where I want it. Be very precise about this. I have a little bit of a bigger forehead, so you know I got a lot of room to play with. And again, I'm going back in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and making sure that the edge of the lace adheres to my skin. It's not sticking up. It's not like flipping up or anything. I'm going to make sure it's laying flat. I'm going to repeat the exact same step on the opposite side, again, being very careful when trimming the lace. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. So you can pick this unit up at MsBarn.com. I have the link in the description box. But when I tell you, you are about to enter into a world where you never hear the word no. Okay, anything you want, it's at your fingertips. This is the kind of look, the kind of aura, the kind of energy that you will just give when you wear this type of unit with the confidence, you know, and you have that, you know, that look. I'm telling you, this is level up friendly, okay? And it's affordable and it's giving human hair tees. You can't go wrong. Sensational definitely stepped their game up with this one. So for a super neat install, you really wanna make sure that this gel is dry before going on to the next section. Because I'm wearing makeup, I want it to be even more careful because I don't wanna mess up my makeup. Of course, you can apply this with, you know, no makeup on, have a clear face, but again, you know, I just beat my face first. So no install is complete without this elastic band, which I'm gonna allow to set on the hair for about probably 10 to 15 minutes. You can go as little as five minutes, okay? I just wanted to make sure the wig was secure. That's the purpose for the first go around. And here I'm gonna do, you know, some adult swoops, okay? I'm team almost 30. So instead of trying to make you swim with some baby hairs, you know, make you seasick, I'm just going to give you a little bit of adult swoop and I'm using the Shine and Jam Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Styler, and I really like this. It's not hard, it doesn't create that white residue, it's very soft on the hair, but it gives you know a nice little swoop action. And again, I like to go in a little bit and tweeze when necessary, because sometimes you still have a little bit too much hair around the perimeter. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like, you know, when the hair looks too harsh when it's been slicked down. So I just like to be super careful. So how did I do on the adult swoops? I want y'all to let me know. I've been practicing. Less is more when it comes to these styles. And again, you know, let's say you want to wear this, you know, to a little dinner date, virtual date, brunch, you know what I'm saying? Virtual brunch on Zoom. Hey, okay. And even if you don't have a beat face, this hair carries, you know what I'm saying? When I say carry, this hair carries, it will carry you. Okay. It will carry you through. But yeah, this is, this is one of those units where it speaks to you. What is this hair saying to you? Cause it's saying a lot to me. Okay. We're having a full blown conversation. It's hard to keep up with this voiceover. And then I'm going back in with the elastic band and this is to help set everything in place. And I'm just gonna let this set while I do just a little bit more styling and customization. And you can actually apply heat to this hair so you do not have to be scared, sis. You know, I'm getting the hair ready for that flip over. You see it is coming. You know what I'm saying? It's the flip over is coming and a little bit of tangling, just a little bit. But again, I tweezed some hair. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure I got it all out. But again, this hair can tolerate anywhere from like 350 to 400 degrees. With this particular hot comb, I placed the dial in between like the 10 and 15 mark because I was scared, you know, I don't have the exact temperature measurements, so I wanted to be careful. But you know, the flip over method, it just looks so effortless. It looks flawless. It looks glamorous. I mean, it's all the things, sis, okay? I, I wouldn't steal you wrong, okay? So just giving a few last minute touches and you know I had to go change up the makeup and the outfit. I had to get ready, okay? Now look at that. Okay, we're speaking a whole nother language, okay? Center of attention, I get what I want. You know what I'm saying? I walk in, I get noticed. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Girl, 
go get this wig and stop playing. And so I'm just going in with my pressed powder and 360 just around the hairline just to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. And I wanted to show you guys, I don't recommend wearing a wig cap as a light of a color, do something a little bit darker, more natural because you can see it because of the cap construction. But you know, if this is too lustrous or shiny for you, use a bit of dry shampoo, but this look goes a long way. I played around with the parting, the middle part looks nice, but because of the placement of my wig cap, you can see where it starts. But you know what I'm saying? It still looks super glamorous and you have a ton of different options. But again, I wanted that flip over method because it's working for me, okay? Had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. If you love this look, Kiki with me in the comments, let me know if it spoke to you. And I hope I see you in the next one.